All right, this is math seven, and we're looking at unit three, lesson 11, our last lesson for this unit called stained glass windows. And so this lesson really pulls together everything we've been talking about, circumference and area. Again, our circumference we said was circumference equaled uh, pi times the diameter, or it could equal um, two pi r. But our area, we decided with the area was equal to pi r squared. And so for all of these formulas here, we decided was that if we could determine what a radius was or a diameter length, we'd be able to use that information in order to figure out how long or how wide an object might be. All right, so it says, the students in art class are designing a stained glass window to hang in the school entryway. The window will be three feet tall and four feet wide. Here is their design. All right, so here's what we know. It's three feet uh, tall and four feet wide, which would mean for us a couple things before I move forward. It means that each one of these spaces right here is gonna be one or one foot there, no problem. When I look at the shapes here, I have part of a circle. And so that means that that portion plus that portion, which would be a diameter of a half a circle, looks like about one. When I look over here, this tells me that this is going to be length of two and two there. And again, if this is going to be one, that becomes, this is one and this is a half and that's a half that combine together to make our two. So these circles, what I look at so far, again, just kind of looking at things, don't even know what the question is yet, that's okay. I know that I have circles that have a diameter of one throughout this little uh, stained glass window. Okay. We see we have some dark sections and some white sections. So let's take a look down below at what it's asking. Okay, it says, they have raised $100 for the project. Great. The colored glass, so the colored glass is gonna cost $5 per square foot. So $5 a square foot. So we're talking about area there, square foot. And the clear glass, clear glass is going to be two dollars a square foot okay so five dollars the material they need to join the piece of the glass together so the joint material the joints is ten cents per square foot or per foot so ten cents a foot and the frame is going to be four dollars a foot okay so we have lots of different elements here. We have the colored glass, which is gonna be the dark pieces here. And we have the clear, which is the white. We have the joints, which are these little pieces inside of the, the, um, the frame. And then we have the frame itself all around. So we, those things all have to be combined together to find a total cost. And we need to decide if that total cost is gonna be greater than or less than the amount of money that they have raised. So let's take a look at some simple ones first of all. So for the frame, the frame we know is a four by three frame, okay? And we know that for to find the frame, that's gonna be a perimeter. So a perimeter means I take my length and my width and instead of multiplying it here, I could simply add a four plus three plus the other four plus the other three and get for myself a nice sum of 14 feet is the length around this frame. Now that 14 feet is going to be multiplied by the cost for the frame, which is $4 a foot, 14 times 4, and 14 times 4 is going to equal $56. So already we've used almost half the money that we have for this project on just this outside frame. Well, that's not a good sign. Well, let's see what else we can figure out as we go along there. Okay, so the next thing I want to look at here is let's take a look at the, at the white or the clear the clear pieces of glass. Okay, the clear pieces of glass are comprised of all of these semicircles throughout this piece right here. Okay, if we take a look at the semicircles, um, we can start to add them up and see how many we actually have because these are going to be an area thing. So let's add them up like this. I'm going to just do my halves. Okay, so this one plus this one, that's one semicircle there. I could have that half go with those ones, that's two. This one can go with that to make three circles. And this one can go with this chunk to make four. So I have four circles here so far. One, two, three, four. Here I have 
my fifth circles, my sixth circles, my seventh, and my eighth go there. So I have one, two, three, four more there. And here again, I have my ninth, which goes with that chunk right there. It's my ninth one. Here is my tenth one here. And then I have my eleventh, which is this guy. And then my twelfth, which is this guy. So I have a total of 12 circles all together. That is broken up into halves and into quarters. So I, I know I have 12 circles. So the area of those circles is pi r squared. In this case here, my radius is one, like we already said before. So one squared is one. So we know our area is 3.14, is pi. I'm gonna multiply that by the 12 circles that I have. So 12 times 3.14 is going to be, oops, sorry, got a little mistake, let me back up a second. So back up here, looking at my notes, like, oops, that's not right. My diameter is one. Now my diameter is one, that means my radius is a half. Oh, good catch there. So I'm gonna do 3.14, sorry, times, and this is a half squared, is one fourth. One fourth is also 0.25, and then we'll multiply that by 12 altogether. Okay, so sorry about that. We're going to do a half because that's my radius, and then squared, which was 0.25. So 3.14 times 0.25 times 12 is going to equal 9.42. Okay. Let's just double check my math here real quick. 3.14 times 0.25 times 12 equals 9.42. Now the color, the colored glass, or sorry, the clear glass is gonna cost me $2 a square foot. So we'll multiply that by $2 to get my cost. And so my cost for the clear is going to be $18.84. Okay, so we have the frame and we have the clear. Now the colored glass is a little different because I can't really see if those are circles or not. That's just what's left. But what I can do is I can take the frame area and I can subtract from it the clear area and that's gonna equal the space left over for the colored area, okay? So the area of the whole thing is four times three, which is 12. And I subtract from that the area of the clear 9.42 and so 12 minus 9.42 is equal to 2.58 um, uh, feet squared okay feet squared or square feet that's my colored area now the cost for the color glass is five dollars a square foot so i'm going to multiply 2.58 times five when i multiply 2.58 times five i end up with twelve dollars and ninety cents Okay, I'm gonna move it up here a little bit because I'm running out of some room. All right, so at this point we have the frame, we have the clear, we have the colored, and what's left then is just the joints. The joints are gonna be all these pieces that go around the circles here, as well as these long lines right there. Okay, so I'm just gonna call on my joint pieces here for how they're joined together. For the joint pieces here, there are a couple different parts, right? I have the circumference of all the circles, right? These are my 12 circles and they all have wire that goes around them. So I need to find the circumference of the 12 circles, which is gonna be pi times the diameter times 12 circles. And in this case here, that would be 3.14. We're gonna multiply by one this time because that is the diameter and multiply it by the 12 circles to have 37 0.68 is the circumference of the wire that goes around all of the circles. So that price right there is going to be multiplied by 10 cents. So the wire that goes around the circles is 37.68 times 10, which is going to be a total of $3.76. About that. Okay, just kind of removing that 8 there. All right. Now I also have wire though that goes simply across like this. That wire is there. I can't forget the wire. I have one that's a length of four. I have another one that's a length of four. And I have the one down the middle, which is a length of three. So that's going to be eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
So I do 11 feet times 0 0.10, right, for that section right there, and that's going to equal $1.10. So I have now the frame, the clear, the colored, and the joints, and what I need to do is then combine all those together to get my total. So I have a 56 plus an 1884 plus a 1290 plus a 3.76 plus a 1.10. When I add all of that up, what I come up with is $92.60. So my total, based upon my math here, is going to be $92.60. The class has raised $100 for the project. So the answer to the question would be, yes, they have enough money to do the project. And that's how you might go about solving that one. Great question, lots of time to do that one. Um, and that's what we have for today's lesson. All right, good luck with the rest of them. You can do the rest if you like. Um, and there's an option for number two is a bigger window. So the question happens here is, all right, same idea, but you have a larger copy. What would you do a larger copy using a scale factor now of three? Remember with scale factor, circumference, diameter, radius, if that's a scale factor three, we're gonna multiply by three, but area is not times three. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be three squared type of thing, right? So we gotta think about what's gonna happen to area. Anyways, move on from that, I'll let you do that on your own. Good job, and we'll see you next time.